it's good news for London's commuter population. Stage one of the Jubilee line is opened by His Royal Highness Prince Charles. At a cost of 87 million pounds, the new link runs from Baker Street to Charing Cross. Easily cleaned materials have been used on all services. It's a proud addition to London's underground railway system. Like a seasoned commuter, the Prince takes a ride, but unlike a regular, he rides up front in the driver's cab. One of the objects of the new Jubilee Link is to open up the northwestern suburbs with central London's business and shopping areas. The twin tunnels are two and three quarter miles long. At Charing Cross Station, terminus of the new section, the Jubilee Line, named to honor the Queen's 25-year reign, is opened officially. From here, London's tube network stretches in all directions. The decor underground is bold and eye-catching. Prince Charles admires the murals by well-known artists. The closed-circuit television keeps a sharp eye on the unceasing traffic in London's underground other world. Prince Charles sees for himself how to cope with the city's daily flow of one and three quarter million passengers. A plaque commemorating the event is unveiled. Work began on the Jubilee Line in the late autumn of 1971. Like everybody else, Prince Charles buys his ticket. A royal workman's off-peak special, maybe. It was the Prince's first trip on a tube train since he was a child, and he enjoyed it. But then his line of work doesn't often take him underground. Let's hope the new Jubilee helps sort out those old rush hour blues. And the second stage soon gets underway. The idea of an arms fair raises resentment in most of us, but the fair